Hello ladies and gentlemen, so this is going to be the final video for today. I've been playing for over over three hours and I didn't get as much gameplay in as I wanted to yesterday or today just because of some technical difficulties both with my capture software and with the game itself. Um, however, tomorrow I plan on getting four to five hours of uh, solid gameplay, so... Let's jump back in here. We have one more question to ask. We have to ask about skillage. So I take it that these three locations are the main locations in the game, probably. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. All right, so just to um, break it down here, Velen is a horrible place. You uh, basically we have to contend with the Blood Baron there. The streets are running with blood. It's complete chaos. Novigrad is in between the two warring factions and kind of caught in the middle, and they provide transport. And something else. Transport and something else. I can't remember the second thing. I think money or something. And then you have Skellige, which is just an island. And they're kind of like Sweden. They're just kind of off in their own world. And they could give a shit about what's going on in the war. But I don't think that that's the case. I think there's more going on in Skellige than, uh, than what we know. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Alright, so we're done with that. Let's get the hell out of here. I think I've wasted enough time. I want my armor back. I want my weapons. And I want a new quest to do. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. <laughs> Amber is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. Alright, so... So the So the first place I get to go So the first place I get to go is the worst place out of um, pretty much all of them. I get to go to Velen, which is apparently a bad place. And there's a mission over here. Let me go talk to this person. He has like a mission for me. Mm. Oh, never mind. He wants to play a stupid game. Fuck that. No, I don't want to play. Wouldn't I don't. Mind a few rounds of cards. No, I don't want to play, man. Let me exit out of this. No. I'll play cards later, but I'm not playing cards right now. Fuck that. Don't have time for your card games. Who's that lady up there? I want to talk to that lady. She's very fetching. What's up? Do you think it becoming to disturb a lady? Yes, I do. I don't like the sound of your voice though. You sound kind of like a winch, so I'm not going to talk to you anymore. 
Alright, let me get the hell out of this castle. Uh, I would much rather go to Novigrad, honestly, because I don't th think... Uh, okay, so I'm gonna fast travel to the hangman's tree. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Alright, so the story's getting, getting uh, pretty interesting. I'm after Ciri. I, I highly doubt that Ciri's going to be here. I know for a fact that she's probably going to be in Novigrad. Because it would be far too simple to send me to this place and have her just, you know, show up like, Oh, hey, Geralt, haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? It's not going to go down like that, man. Ugh. But I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a great day of gaming. Um, I plan on getting in quite a few hours, like I said, like around four or five, hopefully tomorrow. Today was pretty good, too, though. I didn't get in as much gaming as I could have, though, because I got a late start. This looks like the tree from uh, from the trailer for this game. Yep, that is the tree from the trailer in the game. I guess that's why they call it the hanging tree. Here we go. I'm so excited to be here. Not really. This play looks this place looks like a shithole. I want to go back to the white orchard. <laughs> Come on. Man, there are freaking people hanging everywhere, dude. Okay, so I'm to go to the inn at the crossroads. I also need to find the armorer in this village just in case I need to repair my weapons, but I could also go back to the white orchards for that, I guess. That's it, Roach. Come on, Roach. All right, let me look at the map here. So I'm right there, and I'm... So this is where I'm going. I'm going way the hell over here. Well, there's a notice board right there with some missions, though. And what the hell is this? There's a shopkeeper right there. So this is a fairly large location, man. I mean, look at this. Holy crap, man. This is a pretty big area. This is much bigger than the other area that I was just in. It's mostly with water, though. I mean, look at all this water. Something tells me that I'm about to learn how to steer a boat. And look at all these job notices, man. Holy shit. Look at all these missions I could do. That is a ton of stuff. All right. I'm just going to head to the location that I'm supposed to be going to. And, uh... We'll just start from there, because it looks like there's a mission board there, too. 
So I'll go to this main location and then I'll check out this mission board to see uh, to see what kind of side missions I could do for now. Slow now. Whoa. Run, Roach. Yeah, man, the graphics look great in this game, dude. I'm really, really liking The Witcher 3 so far. It's much better than The Witcher 2, man. I could say that for sure. The Witcher 2 was good in its own right, but it was nothing like this. Dead bodies hanging from every pole. Somebody's yelling for our help over here. What's up, bitches? Let's go. Come on, quick, unbind me. Unbind uh. me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees, fucking bursting with patriotism they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and untie this guy. Why not? Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I have to be careful though, I'd because like to thank you somehow. But I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, I need to. I need to stop. Prosper on the path. I need to stop helping people for free, man. Everybody that I've helped so far, I've gotten nothing from it. And also, I'm going to change out of this stupid uniform. I don't like what I'm wearing. Although it is a lot better than the stuff that I was wearing, though. Yeah, man, the stuff that I was wearing definitely was not as good as uh, this stuff that I have on. Although, I, d I really don't like this outfit, though. I'm going to put those pants on. They match a little bit better. All right. Let's uh let's get back to what I was doing before I stopped to help that guy. But what I was saying, I have to be careful with who I help because I don't know if these people that I'm helping are actually people that I want to help or people that I should just let be, you know? Like like I don't know if that guy was actually telling me the truth. I mean, he could have been lying for all I know. All right, let's head back and get to the inn. There's a bunch of drowners around here. Look at all these assholes. There's... I'm not gonna stop and fight those guys now. I could take them out later. I just wanna get to the get to where I need to go here. Yeah, this is a pretty crappy looking place, man. 
The last place I was in was uh, a little bit nicer than this. Hey there. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. Geralt's beard grew back, I notice. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? Incape, Vodka. Who's this? In? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, governor. No. Wouldn't want the grime in your hands to rub off on them. Bolo. Did you hear what I heard? Alright, here we go. Gonna get into some trouble. Go away, or I'll kill you. Damn it. Enough. Give the devil someone to rot. All together, now! Come on, man. Let me take my sword out, bitch. Let me take out my sword. Thank you very much. What the fuck, man? The game wouldn't let me take out my goddamn sword in the beginning of that fucking fight. Like, they, they got like, I don't know, half a dozen hits on me because I couldn't get out my fucking sword. When a fight's about to go down, the sword should automatically be in my hand when the fucking fight starts. That's pretty fair, I think. That was a bunch of bullshit, dude. Yeah, granted, I wasn't blocking their, uh attacks at all, but it's kind of crap that I couldn't arm myself before they started beating the crap out of me. Now I have to do that sequence all over again. Lovely. Come on, man. How long does this fucking take to load? The load screens have not been this long up to this point in the game. This is taking forever. I was inside a freaking like little room with three guys. It should not take this long to load the game. You die, Scott. Dude. Son of a bitch, here we go again. Get your sword out, asshole. Fucking douchebags, man. Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf? Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. 
Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. All right, let me lead to these guys. I probably shouldn't have killed those guys, but uh, I'm not going to back down from a fight. So I'm fighting yet another guy. Ah, shit, man. There's a bunch of them out there. I'm, like, stuck in here, dude. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here because it's running long. Um, we're going to pick up tomorrow where I left off here. I'm probably going to have to kill the rest of these guards, but uh, I'm not going to be doing any further gameplay after that. Thank you so much for checking out my content. Feel free to comment down below on what you think of The Witcher so far. And hit the like button if you're enjoying the series. Thank you guys.